What's up guys, it's Nick Katia here and welcome to the Myconria YouTube channel. Uh, obviously, if you've watched one of our videos before, you will know that the setting is currently very different. Um, we're currently in my bedroom and I'm filming this on my phone because um, in today's video, I'm going to show you a really cool way that you can wake yourself in, up in the morning without having to use an alarm clock. I'm really not a fan of using an alarm clock to wake you up. You know, from a circadian point of view, sound was never the thing that used to wake you up in the morning. Um, it would primarily be your body temperature, but also a combination, you know, of some light coming in that could also wake you up in the morning. So what I'm going to show you is how to use um, one of our orbs, which is a zero blue light um, and zero flicker uh, light bulb, which is essentially what you could get in the morning because you're not getting exposed to any artificial blue light. Um, you know, exposing yourself to indoor, you know, standard lighting that has artificial blue light before you've been outside is actually not the best way to start your circadian rhythm because there's a really high concentration of blue light. So what you actually want to do every single day is set your circadian rhythm using the sunrise and natural light outside. So this method is going to show you how you can, even if you wake up before sunrise, you can still use a form of lighting that would have been natural, you know, it could, be, could have been a fire if you were out um, in nature. So it's a natural source that is not going to kickstart your circadian rhythm like normal lighting would, which has that extreme high concentration of blue light and actually, you know, has a closer representation to noontime. So it's not something that you want to be starting your day off with because that's why you might be tired later on in the day is because if you wake up with this, you know, artificial blue light source, you're essentially, essentially telling your body that it's the middle of the day, even though you've just woken up. So a couple of hours later, you might feel tired at midday because now that is essentially nighttime. If this all makes sense because you've set uh, your circadian rhythm wrong from the very get go. So a lot of people, you're probably familiar with this already, will use red lights in the morning. And that's essentially what I'm going to show you how to do today as a form of an alarm clock without having to use, you know, an alarm sound or anything like that. So very simply, the bottom of my bed here, you can see I've literally got a chair set up so that it's in my vision, you know, as, I'm wake, as I wake up in the morning. This light uh, will be able to uh, wake me up. Obviously, I don't want to have to get up to do it. So what we're going to be using is an electrical timer. Now, obviously, you're probably going to find a different one like this at your store. And I actually want to test this for EMS quickly. So let's do a live test. I have not tested this thing. Um, so it is a digital one. What I want to definitely make sh make you aware of is there are um, timers like this that are, they've got like a, a timer that rotates. I've actually got one on my uh, router because we switch off our internet at night. One of those. I'm not sure if you can hear this. I'm going to stop talking, but let me know if you can, well, see if you can hear the noise. That is going to be extremely annoying if you are trying to sleep and through the whole night, there's a ticket, 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 as that thing uh, rotates. So go and get yourself an analog one, like I've gotten over here. This is going to be a hard test because we're right near an uh, electrical uh, plug, but there's no issues here. That's magnetic fields. Okay, so we've got electric fields. That is definitely a concern. Radio frequencies we won't get from here. So. Electrical fields, just to show you, there's definitely an issue when you're right up against this thing. If I get up, I'm on my bed. Here we have no electrical fields. I stand, move over to here. Oh, I've got my laptop over here, so that might also be throwing it in. Let's just double check this. So if I go there and switch that off. Okay, I'm gonna leave it over there and just make sure Switch it on again. No, we're good. Okay, so, took that off. From an electrical point of view, fine. But I'm not gonna be able to show you how to set this thing up because obviously you're going to get one that's from your hardware store. But essentially all you're gonna to need to do is switch it on. I've currently got it so that it flicks on at um, 6 a.m. in the morning. And I can manually override this actually um, over there. And there you can see an orb. So that is the type of lighting that I'm gonna be waking up with in the morning. Now I've got hard block out curtains. So to give you an example, let's close this room up. My problem in the morning is that I don't get any lighting in here, even if the sun rises, because of, um, let me close the laptop, because of how, how good these block out curtains are. So if I switch this off, it's completely dark. But now with this timer at 6 a.m. in the morning, what's going to happen, so I'm gonna get onto this nice form of lighting. And I mean, you can see in the room here, this is nothing intense. It's a really, really, you know, soft way to wake yourself up in the morning. 
without having to use an alarm clock. Now, the bonus thing that I want to talk to you guys about um, is that light actually isn't what should be waking you up in the morning. So I've discussed this in another video and I'll link to it in the description. But basically, what should be waking you up is your body temperature. You would get a cortisol rise and your body temperature would rise in the morning. Um, so you essentially would get up before sunrise. Even though light is extremely important at setting your circadian rhythm, primarily what wakes you up in the morning is your body temperature. So, something I'm going to be doing as well, if you want to really, really kick this to another level, so this is going to be the most optimal kind of circadian setup you can have for your, for your bedroom. So I'm rocking a really cheap fan. This was 400 Rand, which is about $12. Um, I've got a really simple fan, switches on like that, and that stays on at night. I'm going to run the exact same thing on the second plug over here with another one of these. So, using those two timers, I want you to think about this. That's going to keep me cool at night. That's very important for obviously getting a bit more fresh air, but also for um, keeping you, your body temperature cooler at night, which should happen. That makes you get into the deeper phases of sleep. But I don't want this thing to carry on running at about 4 a.m. in the morning because I actually want from then onwards my body temperature to start rising so that I start waking up properly. So what I'm going to do is get two timers. One of them is going to switch this light on at about 6 a.m. And one of them is going to switch this thing off at 4 a.m. So it'll switch on at, let's say, uh, 9 p.m. at night when I go to bed. And then this will, the fan will switch off then at 4 a.m. so that the room can start warming up exactly like what would happen in nature. And then when I want to get up, instead of having lighting or anything like, uh, or any ugly artificial lighting or an alarm clock, now I've got the orb which is going to give me that really nice dim setting um, in the morning. So this is between these two and using two timers, you're going to have, you know, the perfect way to, I say perfect, I think it's one of the best ways. Um, I haven't seen a better solution than this apart from sleeping outside. You're going to have a really, really good way to wake yourself up in the morning without having to get up out of bed to switch on an orb. I mean, that is your, your, one of your options. But now you can actually stay in bed. Naturally, you can get your body temperature, ri temperature to rise and you don't have to use an alarm clock, you can simply use a really nice ambient light, such as the orbs, which you can get on my Condor's website. They're $29.95, um, really buy one of those, it's gonna be one of the best investments you make, it's the best $29 you're gonna spend all year. Um, if you guys have any questions from today's video, drop them in the comments section below. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and if it gave you any value. And if you haven't already done so, please hit both the subscribe and the notification bell. That way you get notified as soon as we release future content. I hope that you guys have a fantastic day further and we will chat again soon. Cheers.